Assalamu alaikum everyone this is Dr Hasna and today I'll be addressing your questions that you asked me related to studies and what not so in this video let's sit down and very informally I'd like to discuss all of your concerns let's get started without further ado I decided not to edit this video because editing takes a ton of my time therefore I was like you know what let's just sit down and talk to you informally and let's see what questions I've got here and we're going to like discuss them and I'll answer your FAQs first question that you guys asked me about how to get started with third year guidelines on second year so multiple questions related to how to get started with a year and how to study most productively i will talk from experience how i live my medical student life i used to be a topper guys you guys give me so much love so i was like you know what let me just you know reproduce all of that and like send that lucky charm to all of you so somehow you guys also start topping there is like uh, another question where it said how do you maintain the balance of fun as well so all of that i'm going to discuss this uh, question first basically whenever you get started with a year and when i got started with my medical college i had one thing in my mind this is not the end of the world i'm going to enjoy my mbbs like mbbs is not sar se utarne wala kaam it's supposed to be something that would uh, you know make me a better person rather like i should be happy that i'm blessed to be here so firstly your perspective matters a lot entering the year entering the college or entering anything you're about to do even studying you have to have a very positive perspective and literally um my friends used to say you're the most positive person we've met like they were like annoyed by my positivity itne level ki positivity honi chahiye that you are just like annoying people with it so if you keep that mindset literally i'm not going to lie but law of attraction actually works and things good things actually start happening to you so uh, what i did was i kept a very positive perspective okay not in first year but by third year uh, this is the perfect strategy that i somehow how uh, formulated through my experience that this is the way studying should go and this is the way i had the most high yield uh, outcome so what i did was in the beginning what you have to do is uh, nothing comes easy right you have to put like 5 5 minutes like if you want to get somewhere you have to put like few minutes few minutes few minutes of your time every single day so that eventually by the end of the month that becomes an hour into that something is better than nothing right so i decided that if i am uh, putting at least 10 minutes or even 15 minutes and 30 minutes is just like brilliant and that literally asks nothing of your time in a whole day so if i even put 30 minutes into uh, studying on a daily basis uh, that would probably give me like maybe 3 4 hours of studying in a month you get what i'm saying so any hard work doesn't go to waste even if you put like 5 minutes into something it will give you some positive outcome so therefore what i did was every single day i studied uh, in the entire year 30 minutes uh maximum what did i do i didn't go and study any textbooks rather i just went and uh, studied my class notes the teacher would teach us on that day i'd go home i was like 30 minutes like i can't like waste so, like 30 minutes every day i have to put this is the five prayers we do you have to take out time for that right similarly i did it for the studying i put like 30 minutes into my uh, st study register and that's all i did so i just put 30 minutes into it the rest of the time i was partying i was living with my friends i was doing extracurricular activities i was the dramatic vice president i'm taking part in these these events like olympiads i am doing all of that and what am i doing i'm just silently going to my book every day 30 minutes i mean you sleep for 30 minutes every day and that leads to no harm and nobody gets affected right so you start working from day 1 and what are you doing simple the earlier you start the easier it'll get so if you start uh, right now every single day 30 minutes that's all uh, that your studies are, are asking of you and once you do that you are also attending events you're having fun you're socializing you're living the life and you're like at the top of the game because whenever i used to study for 30 minutes also even for 30 minutes because people don't even do that bare minimum they don't study when they go home so the next day i'd go to my class and my teacher would be like okay this is the question answer it for some reason i'd have the answer the reason to that is that if you're putting uh, effort into something you definitely get it back so start your year in this way this is the best guideline i can give you is start studying from day 1 only 30 minutes this way you can put your uh, effort into like having fun maintaining a balance and everything at the same time you're remaining at the top of your studies so this is what like most of my uh, colleagues my no wait not colleagues we are students so like my class fellows and my my teachers would ask me like well, how are you at the top of your study but then you're in the extracurriculars but then you're doing this like most of the cases you'll see of success are those people that are taking 
part in many things so your brain is satisfied in multiple compartments it's not just so one compartment that you're satisfying only study only study only study that is so unhealthy for you and that's what i always preach that just studying all day like putting all into it it never proved to be the right strategy this is my best advice to you guys stay positive and then by the end of the year trust me believe me and come to me and tell me just come to me and tell me that this did not work this strategy did not work for me i dare you to do that because that's not going to happen hopefully inshallah all you're going to do is put your 30 minutes daily and you're going to come to me in the prof and be like oh my god life is so much easy like you'll see your peers they're all like going crazy over the prof whereas you you had fun all year you're having fun even now so that's how it goes guys the next question that i got was about uh, physiotherapists of our second year complaining not complaining but like are asking me I have like all of these topics in one year it's like abdomen pelvis thorax head and neck neuro i totally understand guys but here's the best answer i can give you since there are so many regions they probably don't expect you to know too much detail so that works in favor of you guys only uh, go for studying the parts that are in necessary for your profession so go and uh, grab on cling on to the muscles and to the muscle tests and to the clinicals related to the muscles because that's mostly related to your field so make sure you're uh, focusing on that if something seems too extra going into you know vessels and uh, aur kya hota hai not nerves nerves are important for you but like vessels and you know like uh, abdominal organs like those are like very far away from your profession those things are not too linked to the your profession so by using this trick uh, study only the important things you think that are really linked to that i hope you understand the next question i got was how to avoid toxicity when people call you theta etc listen to me b confident this is the biggest advice i can give you after multiple big advices that i've given you in my life but like some are like golden advice and this is one of them so be confident let people say stuff to you the day you realize the power of ignoring them and practicing what you practice uh, with full self confidence no one can destroy you take it from me nothing can come between you and success if you have a good pathway a plan the people around you should disappear the day they disappear nothing should matter to you you shouldn't compare yourself uh, if you're, if someone's happy if they're going through success be happy for them if they're negative towards you allah hafiz like bye bye like you don't even need to be friends with them there you don't need them get the people their influence away because guys by experience once again the way i did things i did it in so much confidence that people used to think that this is the cool this is the new cool this is basically a psychological method that you show that this is the best if i show that oh my god i am the best teacher out there people start believing you okay you're the best teacher out there guys i'm not using this strategy <laughs> at all right now you guys decide if i'm a good teacher or not but i'm just giving you an example you know so if i decide that i'm going to study and that's a cool thing so what i study i love studying if you're going to stick to that people are not going to say anything so theta all of these things let them say anything they want but like trust me when time comes when the medical college is over and you like go step out in the house job life clinical life these people disappear like they they literally you realize oh my god they probably just contributed to about like 5% of your life and that was it they're gone it was so temporary like abhi in baaton ko yakeen nahi aayega but then when you're done with this time you realize it was a very short time 5 years or not that much it's not that long like it'll be over before you know it so these people what they say it doesn't matter just you might as well just enjoy it while it lasts uh, multiple questions related to how to do ospi well uh, i have a video coming on that just to clear your ospi doubts and how to attempt ospi in the perfect way so stay tuned turn your post notif notifications on for that the next question i've gotten is about how to build a cv if you want to do plab or whatever the post graduate exams a very good question it's very mature of you to be thinking of these things of your future post grad exams right now it's very nice it's actually good that i i am able to guide you with these exams building a cv what looks good in a cv is your extra extra curricular activities because already you are doing a lot of studying so you should definitely put your effort into other things that are out of studying as well because uh, the abroad exams they actually ask for you to be good in various compartments various perspectives uh, they don't just want you to be good at studies you get what i'm saying so that 100% do extra curricular activities like my time there was like olympiads that we used to do uh, whatever is going on ifmsa 
good thing. It's actually good for you for your CV as well. You can also do research for sure. Don't worry about the research part because in fourth year, you are going to have this subject called community medicine, the dreadful subject, oh so dreadful. And they're going to teach you about research then. So once you learn about research in community medicine, it's better you get started with research then in that year. Make sure you're doing more researches. Once you learn the art of researching in fourth year, you'll already do a research. You'll have that a part of your syllabus is to do a research. So you'll do that eventually in fourth year. And after you're done with that research, I recommend you do more researches because yes, uh, post-grad exams and post-grad jobs, they ask a lot of those researches anything you can do that is outside of by default what your medical college is providing if you can do anything outside it for instance if you have an ngo uh, you can show that in your cv that looks good if you've done medical camps that's brilliant you've done medical camps you can like even go to like various medical camps if you're you have friends or people uh, you know that are doing medical camps you just go there even if you don't know much you can learn it and you get a certificate make sure whatever you are doing guys you are getting a written proof of it whatever you do at that moment your first focus should be that do i have a written proof of this you should have a written proof of everything like i just want you to know that for now uh, at your level in like medical college you should focus on the extracurricular activities more and try to do volunteer work, participate in things that are coming, like opportunities. If you see any opportunity coming, there's like some seminars coming up, make sure you attend them and make sure you get like written proof of it. So that's what you can do. And the rest of the things, don't worry, slowly, slowly, as you get to final year and to the house job part of your medical college life, you will understand everything. So guys, with that, I think I've answered most of your queries and I hope that this was helpful for you. Any more questions you want to ask, if you want me to do more sit down videos like this, then definitely write down in the comments below. You can totally DM me on Instagram at Dr. Hasna and you should uh, go ahead and give me a follow and a subscribe because you know, I, I just, I like it if I'm able to help you. Or write down in the comments if you have any questions for me that I, I can answer in the next video. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.